number of workdays function. Before we get started, I just want to say thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check out all other how-to videos from this channel. Also, subscribe and share, it will be helpful for the channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to write a function to return a number of workdays. We will create a function with flexibility to either include or exclude Saturdays, Sundays, and holidays. Let's see how I do this. All right, let's open up our access. And let's go to create a new blank database. Let's go to uh, our folder, access project, and create a new folder. Let's name this guy, get work day. And go in there, name uh, database, get work day. Alright, this should be uh this shouldn't be too uh too bad. I'm gonna leave that there. Um we're gonna create a uh, table called holiday uh or company holiday. Alright, and uh just now I was looking at this uh time and date here. Uh I'm going to uh, select this official official holidays. Uh, there are several holidays in here, but I'm going to get the official ones for 2020, uh, 2020, for 2020, and here are the stuff, the name, so I'm going to copy all this, uh, I get lazy sometimes, so I'm going to open up my word, let's see, uh, margin. Let's paste it in. There you go. That's better. And I am interested in. Okay. Copy. Copy. See if I can put that in the uh, Excel. My Excel. Hmm. Not sure if I like that. Let's see if we can. Uh, I want to see the uh, these. That's what I was looking at. Okay, so we're gonna delete this empty, and then we don't need this guy. Delete that guy. So we have this, uh, and I'm gonna insert. I'm going to uh, insert a column. So now let's get back to our application. We are going to say, um, actually go to the design. All right, you want that? I can do that, holiday. Okay, we're gonna call this holiday ID, order number, that's fine. Um, date, holiday, ho hate, <laughs> holiday, Day, date, there you go, and then date, and then holiday, name, and then uh, holiday description. All right, so that's good enough. Let's uh, let's save this guy and um, let's see the view. All right. So we are going to come over here. We got four fields. One, two, three, four. We're going to come over here and then just, I'm going to copy this guy, put in here. And then I'm going to copy this guy all the way up to one copy. And then we're going to come in the database. 
uh, make, make sure you select the entire row like so and then paste there you go so that's the easiest way to get the uh, uh, name oh uh, what is this I think we missed something there huh that's uh July in July oh we missed one column there that's why also that's, that's all right we just delete that guy that's fine no all right so that's what we have all right so somebody asked me in the you in the channel or one under one of the comments uh videos comments asked me if um how he could uh get the work days all right uh well i'm going to give you a fancy way to get a work days okay um yeah so let's do this let's go to form all right uh you can do two three things uh you can do two three things i'm gonna make it fancy i'm gonna make fancy make it fancy let me see uh, okay yeah I, I got it we're gonna make it fancy all right i'm gonna uh, uh yeah cancel that that's uh yeah let's do this we're gonna make it fancy i'm going to uh draw this guy out that's pretty good right there all right and then um gonna color this back color uh change that to normal let's uh gonna color this back color to something like that uh you know what i'm gonna do this i'm gonna copy that make this guy no yeah there you go and then make this guy uh 15 percent darker oops where did it go let's try again let's try again let's try again jack let's try again so back color there and then this uh this this is going to be all option box all right so uh back color paste i want to say 115 a little darker there you go all right um and then we're gonna say text box here uh in label here yes yay all right and then uh, we're gonna name this guy label number of work day all right okay um and then i'm gonna move this guy down a little bit i'm gonna expand this up a little bit right there okay and then we're gonna have options all right we're gonna create this guy right here uh, move this guy onto the left uh, right yeah that's right fine so we're gonna say Saturday copy paste Ooh, maybe I should just select this. Uh, yeah, select the checkbox. Mm. Right there, so that is right kind of middle of that guy. So I'm going to select that, copy, paste.
paste paste there you go so we're gonna have options here that we could uh, exclude all right and then I am going to uh, put a label you know make it nice and fancy all right and then um, let's say exclusion yeah there you go exclusion like so so that's good uh, so this being Saturday this is Sunday and then we'll select holiday this will be the all exclusion all right and then we're gonna need two text boxes um, Let's say from and I'm going to make this uh, align right like so copy that paste and uh, let's see let's go right in there say two and that's pretty good right there you don't want to get it too close because when you display this guy you're going to get this little uh, uh, option to select the calendar see so yeah that's good that's good right there so i'm going to name this checkbox uh ch chk saturday and then this checkbox hmm. chk sunday this check box check box check box right there little guy ch holiday all right and then and then we have a button i'm going to address my button right down here for now and um, let's uh dress this up that color going to uh grab this back color here make this guy stand out a little bit like so and then Let's call get get work days, and then I'm gonna put it right there. Uh, command get get work day. All right, and then I'm going to select these labels. See the labels. Even this guy and chain remove all this lighter there make it text one that's a hard uh, dog text so that will be um, yeah that will be all our, I'm gonna copy that for now and then move this guy down a little bit a 
Yeah. Copy that guy. We're gonna make that guy a same as that. There you go. And then we're gonna we're not we're not gonna worry about the name. We're just gonna say um number of of work days. Let's move down here, let's make it a little stand out. Oh, where do you go? I was at the general right there. Center align, there you go. Control S, F, test, screen. All right, uh, I like pop up. It just looks nicer, and that's what it's going to look like. Oh, let's remove a bunch of this stuff right here. Design, go to um, navigation. No, record selector. No, uh, scroll bar. Mm, scroll. No. All right, Control S. Let's look at it. Yeah, that's what we want. Okay. That's what we want, and then we just select this guy. All right, so that's what we want. So let's go to design, okay? And we're gonna predefine these guys on load. So event, click, and go to the code. So on load, we want me um, check Saturday. True. Me check. Uh, sun Sunday. True. Me check. Uh, holiday. Uh, what's the holiday? What happened to my holiday? Let's go back. What happened to the holiday? That should be in holiday. Oh, forgot the C H K. There you go. All right, let's get back in there. Me, CHK, holiday, true. So that's what we're going to uh, pre select. Also, also, um, we are going to select, uh, pre select the date. Oh, by the way, I forgot something. Let's name this box a from date. Um, text from date. And then make this one date format short date uh, right there okay and then this guy to date and then short date all right so I notice this guy's a little close here. I'm gonna move this guy a little away because there's gonna be a little icon here that you can select the date. Yeah, we're also gonna name. Oh yeah, we got that got label. That might be too big. I'm gonna make it up just right there, and we're gonna center this as well. Let's center that center. All right, make it uh, stand out a little bit. 14. Good. All right. So. Let's go back in there. Let's take a look. So on the load, we want to say um, get work days, and then uh, those are pre-selects. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, and then we need a we need a click action on this button. Let's go to event. Double click on this guy. Actually, uh, you can come in here and say code builder. It goes the same way. I just like to double click on this guy and then go. All right. It comes in the same place. Uh, so now on click. Here we go. All right. So 
you know, as you know, I love working with modules. If you have not already uh, noticed, um, I'm a module man. All right, um, working like this makes things cleaner because they are not they they don't get clutter on the front end or the code behind. All right, so let's let's get um, let's name this module a. Um, general function something like that all right and basically we just need a function okay get workday all right and then the option here is um, from date as date to date as date all right and then here's the optional all right if you have not uh, done any optional you can say optional um b uh saturday as boolean equals true so we going we are going to default this to true b uh, sunday as boolean true all right and last holiday as boolean true all right and we're going to return uh integer oh yeah so when you do optional here you have to the rest of the rest of this guys got to be optional all right so forgot that so let's do uh, optional so optional should be last item all right but if you have a couple of optionals like we do here you can just do it like so all right uh, and let's see right there as well up should know so like so and then we need to go like that okay so that is so um that is our function all right so here is uh here's how we're going to dance around this guy here's how we're going to dance around this guy So in here, what we want to do, uh, we are going to uh, say decrement as integer. This will be the the number that we are going to uh, subtract from. Okay. Um, we also need um, day difference. All right, dim uh, day. Uh, yeah, difference as integer. This will be the number of days from this date, from this date to this date. All right. So then we can say day difference equals date difference, and then we just do uh, d from date. Uh, actually, uh, what we need to do is we need a number that's representing the day. Uh, and then day from date, uh, day to date. That would be the number of days difference. And then we have to add one because though that means between, all right, uh, between two days. So we have to add one, all right. And now from here. We are going to need a counter, so let's add counter as integer. Uh, this will be the iteration uh, number that we go we are going to need. So for uh, counter equals one to uh, day difference. Day difference. Next. All right, and in here, 
we want to um, validate if it's um, if it's Saturday. All right. So if is uh, if b Saturday Saturday and uh, it be Saturday and uh, format the D from date. We're going to use that first day to iterate through uh, format. We want three characters for the um, uh, for the for that day equals Saturday. Then decrement is equal to decrement. We're gonna add these numbers together, all right? Like so. And I'm just going to copy this guy for Sunday. And then we'll say B uh, Sunday. And then this will be S U N. And then add another one, all right? And we need a third one. This would be um, holiday, all right? So let's add another function. Let's call this private uh, private function. Call is holiday is holiday, all right? Uh, and then we have to pass in a date. The select date as date and return as a boolean. All right, and then uh, dim RS as record set. And then we're going to do dim SQL, our favorite. Uh, string, yep. SQL equals select holiday from holiday where uh, holiday date equals pound pound there. All right, so in here, then we have to say and the select date like so uh, equals oh yeah we don't need this guy my bad oops there that's better and now we can say set os equals oops current db opens record set sql set rs nothing nothing like so and now we're going to say um if rs record count is greater than one greater than zero and next um we say actually we don't need that we just need it we just need to do this. Then we say is holiday is true. That's it. That's all. We're done with that one. All right. And then here, instead of format, we we'll say actually we're gonna stop right there. Is holiday. Take all that out. Also take this out. All right, and now we need to advance to the next date. So now we we'll say D from date. All right, we got to advance this date. You say then will be the next date plus one. Imagine this is uh, 14th. Comes in here and says valid if that 14 is Saturday or that's that Sunday or it's holiday. Then do this and this and this else. Oh, and then next, 14 becomes 15 right here, and then so on until until this number. All right.
until the day difference. That's it. That's pretty simple. Control S. And then jump back to this uh, test screen. All right. And here from here, we can say if uh, if if it's date. Actually, we wanted to uh, select if not is no first. All right. Just in case. Just in case. And not is no. Uh, two. Yeah, working with this uh, date validation. Uh, just make sure it's validation. All right. And then once you've done with validation, you need to validate if it's a date. Is is date. Then we do the same. And is date. We want to make sure these guys date. All right. Then else and if and here same way else and here we can say message box equals um, please verify the date range all right and then uh, we do vb information and then we'll say validation uh, let's do let's do er dash validation. Okay, now we're just gonna copy this guy. And put it in here cell as well. Alright. And then once this guy passes, you still need to validate one more thing. Alright. We want to uh, Validate, make sure this date um, is not more than that guy. So we need to do uh, if me takes from less than me takes to then do this else. And then we can come in here and say. From date uh, from date cannot be later than later than to date. All right. Once everything is good and dandy, <coughs> we can say. Okay, well before we forget, let's do this. Oops. Let's do this. Me, label, caption. We want to uh, make sure that the, um, the caption is empty. Alright, every time we click. And, and now we can come, <coughs> can come in here. Say label, caption, caption equals... Uh, yeah, here we go general uh, function get what day uh, we're gonna pass in the from date the to date um, and then the check boxes Saturday Saturday first and then check box Sunday and then check box oops um, check box holiday and that's it and and we'll go ahead and add the uh, um, uh, work days. All right. Um, and then we uh, we'll go ahead and add this uh, pre-select date. Make sure you add this pre-select date right here. Uh, and let's take a look at this function again. Don't forget to uh, make sure you have this uh, get workday equals. All right. So that's the code. And um, now control S. Let's go to the um, form. Let's run this. All right. 
let's change this to uh, 14 and then deselect all these all right it sh should be it should give us 14 days because we're not excluding anything all right that's 14 now if we say exclude this guy meaning take a take away all the holidays within this date range then on the 11th is a veterans day veterans day so there's one holiday in there if we click get work days it should be 13 perfect and then if we look at the calendar right here from the 1st to the 14th all right there are two Sundays and two Saturdays. You see? So, if we say also include, exclude Sunday, meaning we don't work on Sunday, it's going to take two more days off, which becomes 11. Perfect. All right? And then if we say this, we also don't want uh, Saturday all right so that's going to take it down to nine days perfect so if we come in here to validate you can count one two three four five six seven eight on the 11 we're gonna skip and nine perfect and that's how you uh, that's how you get the uh, the uh, number of work days all right this is a simple um, code it's not there's not much to it uh, in the function for example it's only a couple of lines all right um, and then we have to use the table now the benefit of having a holiday table here is that you can add your own not limited to the national holidays you see and and the holidays are, are different from year to year all right uh, the the, uh, the date may be the same but it might fall on to different days for example the Christmas being on the December 25th right well we don't know what day is going to land on for 2001 for example or 2020 for 2020 all right so that's a code to get the holidays okay uh, and in here is real simple one liner you will just pass in hey give me whatever it is all right and that's all you have to do that's all you have to do all right and so there you have it um, the uh, the uh, number of work days all right and um, it's nice and simple. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Happy programming. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, like, share, and hit that bell. And also comment below and if you need help, inbox me. Thanks again.